I wouldn't say that I based any of these women on specific women that, that I knew, but Hermione is an exaggeration of me. So Hermione really did come from a, a very deep place inside me. I was very insecure. Um, still am quite insecure in a lot of ways, but I was a very insecure person for longer than I like to admit. And I think writing about the time in Hermione's life that I write about, growing from childhood into womanhood, literally, because she, when we finish the book, she's 18. I think it brought back to me how very difficult it is. So much is expected of you as you become a woman, and often you are asked to sacrifice parts of you in becoming a girl, I would say. Hermione doesn't. She doesn't play the game, if you like. How could I be so stupid? I checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light. The kind of teasing that Ron gives Hermione for being clever and always being in the library and, you know, I've, I've had that my whole life. Guys giving me a hard time for doing well and being smart, and so it, I can totally relate. You're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. You do it, then, if you're so clever. Go on, go on. From the first moment that I spoke to Emma, I just thought, oh, thank Christ. I did, because, you know, who knew who they were going to cast as Hermione? I was more worried about Hermione than anyone else. I thought, you know, are you going to get a girl and put her in glasses and then she'll, you know, because that shows she's clever. I mean, how many times have we seen that happen? And I spoke to Emma on, on the phone. She was very young, I think she was 10. And I thought, you are going to be able to play a very bright, articulate girl with conviction because that's who you are. I felt like I had the most pressure in a way because if I screwed up Hermione, I would be screwing up a part of Joe, and just would have been awful. I remember she sent me a letter after the third movie. She wrote me a letter and she said, to my perfect Hermione. And to hear that from the creator of her was obviously the biggest compliment I could receive, and I knew, that was when I really knew that I'd done a good job.